claim 12. We are happy with Lucy's overall health because it is stable, aside from her breathing problems, but breathing problems are not well understood in elephants. The Valley Zoo's contentment with Lucy's overall health conflicts with Lucy's actual health records. Lucy has had chronic respiratory problems, foot problems and infections, arthritis, tooth problems, and colic. In fact, Lucy has been ill for over 20 years with various ailments, and the Valley Zoo has not been able to resolve her medical problems. Lucy's health may be stable, but it's a stable and consistent state of poor health, which is simply unacceptable. Claim 13. Lucy does not like to travel due to previous experiences, and with her respiratory problem, traveling could be dangerous for Lucy. If her health environment and social environment remain stable, it will prevent future issues. The zoo's claim that Lucy doesn't like to travel and that her health may be in jeopardy if she does has no legitimate basis. It's just something the zoo claims. There's no proof that what they're saying is true. The last time Lucy was moved was more than 20 years ago, way back in 1987, and then again in 1988. But whether she likes to be moved or not is irrelevant. Lucy's conditions at the Valley Zoo are unacceptable, so for her own health and welfare, she must be moved. Zoos move animals all the time, and it's likely that most of them don't like it very much. The supposed risk involved in moving Lucy lacks credibility. It seems to be one veterinarian's opinion, a veterinarian who doesn't have very much experience with elephants. He could be completely wrong. Numerous offers have been made to bring in independent elephant experts and world-class elephant veterinary specialists to determine whether or not the zoo's claim has any legitimacy, but the zoo has refused to let anyone else examine Lucy. Claim 14. Not elephants are social animals, and Lucy is bonded with people, so she gets her social requirements from her keepers. Actually, female elephants have the most complex and extensive social network of any mammal studied, other than primates. Lucy lives in isolation from other elephants, so she has no choice but to maintain a very unnatural relationship with her keepers, but it's ridiculous to say that Lucy's social requirements are satisfied by her keepers. Normal elephant families stay together or in contact 24 hours each day. Lucy's keepers go home at night, leaving Lucy alone. She's even alone for most of the day. Anyone who visits the Valley Zoo can stand and watch Lucy all alone swaying back and forth for a good portion of whatever day they choose to visit. Lucy's keepers can't communicate with her like other elephants can, using body postures, audible sounds, infrasound, chemical cues, and even seismic vibrations. Lucy's keepers are not a substitute for a real elephant family. Claim 15. Lucy loves to push down trees, browse, and eat tree root bulbs. Lucy also has lots of things for shade in her enclosure, so the zoo is taking care of Lucy's needs. Actually, Lucy only gets to browse when she is taken on her very short, controlled walks. If Lucy were in better conditions, she'd have an opportunity to push down trees and do the other things she likes to do all day, every day. If the zoo were really concerned about Lucy, wouldn't they want her to have that opportunity? Claim 16. Raising an elephant is expensive, and it requires a lot of funding, but the City of Edmonton and all its citizens are committed to Lucy's well-being. The Valley Zoo doesn't have the space or the funds to properly house and care for elephants. Even if they tried to construct a new, bigger enclosure, it would be a waste of millions of dollars because there's nothing they can do about Edmonton's climate. Both elephant sanctuaries in the United States have offered Lucy a permanent home, and both have offered to cover the costs associated with transporting her to their facilities. A move to the sanctuary would not cost the zoo or Edmonton taxpayers a cent. We are certain that these citizens of Edmonton want the very best for Lucy, because the vast majority of Edmontonians that have been surveyed say that Lucy should be moved. Claim 17. Lucy enjoys her life at the Valley Zoo because it is about trees, sun, and lots of exercise, so Lucy lives pretty good. Lucy's life is not very good. Lucy does not get to enjoy trees, warm temperatures, and lots of exercise. In fact, Lucy lives in a barren environment and suffers from boredom, health issues, and social isolation. Lucy's life needs to change. Lucy needs to be moved to more appropriate elephant-friendly conditions that can actually provide her with a life of trees, warm temperatures, and exercise, as well as the company of other elephants. For more information on Lucy and what you can do to help get her an independent veterinary assessment so that she can be moved to a more appropriate environment, thereby bringing the Valley Zoo into compliance with provincial law, 
please visit www.savelucy.ca. If you would like to learn more about the fascinating lives of elephants, we suggest that you go to your local library and read some of these excellent books about elephants.